The topic of this video is pleuronic gel, but what is it exactly? Pleuronic gel, or pleuronic F127, is a type of polyoxymer. Polyoxymers are non-ionic tri-block copolymers, which consist of a hydrophobic center of polyoxypropylene, PPO, flanked by two hydrophilic blocks of polyoxyethylene, PEO. A very important characteristic of these gels, and the one we will illustrate here, is the fact that they show self-assembly and gelation upon increasing the temperature. In other words, their viscosity increases with temperature, rather than decrease like with most fluids. The specifics of the transition depend on the molecular weight and the hydrophobic-hydrophilic ratio of the polyoxymer. The transition goes as follows. Unimers of PEO, PPO, PEO are floating around in a solution. It is liquid. When either the temperature or the concentration is increased, the PPO becomes progressively less soluble in water and the chains will initially start to aggregate into micelles to minimize the surface contact between PPO and water. If we keep increasing the temperature or concentration, more hydrogen bridges between the PEO and water break down and it becomes insoluble. The entire polymer is now hydrophobic. This can cause more elaborate mesophases to occur. For example, cubic, hexagonal, or lamellar structures. The polyoxymer has now become a gel. The exact structure depends again on the molecular weight and ratio, as it is a trade-off between maximizing entropy and minimizing the free energy. To illustrate this behavior, we conducted a little experiment. Here we have used two samples of 17% concentrated pleuronic gel, which we cooled in the fridge for some time. When cooled to approximately 6 degrees Celsius, the temperature of an average fridge, the gel is liquid. Both tubes are currently liquid. One of the tubes is then placed in a jar of hot water. The other tube still contains the cooled pleuronic. After approximately 8 minutes, the tube that was placed in warm water has gelated due to the higher temperature, so it no longer flows. To show this, watch how the orange dye that is injected in both tubes diffuses rapidly in the left tube, but stays put in the tube to the right. The gelation process is reversible. To illustrate this, both tubes were left in the fridge overnight. The tube with gelated pleuronic has liquefied again. The dye is now fully diffused in both tubes. An interesting application of pleuronic gels can be found in bioprinting, where a biological ink is used to 3D print organic materials. This bio ink consists of different types of cells. A bioprinter then aligns the cells one layer at a time, following data from an MRI. At this stage, the cells have not yet fused and therefore do not possess any mechanical strength. This is where the pleuronic gel comes into play. Each layer of cells is surrounded by a mold of pleuronic gel. This gel ensures the structure of the bioprinted layers. The printed organic structure is then moved to a bioreactor, which mimics the conditions within a body. Once the cells have fused and the organ is formed, it can be cooled to a temperature at which the gel becomes liquid, leaving behind a fully functional bioprinted organ.